In this lesson, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the auto adjustments within Photoshop, as well as some of the manual adjustments of uh, highlights or levels, tonal range, basically. Let's open a picture. Um, let's take that dog. And let's just experiment with the auto adjusting sections. Image, adjustments, and there's auto levels, auto contrast, auto color, and if you want to choose that you can and see what the results are, maybe if you're in a rush, but chances are if you've picked Photoshop as your program and spent this much money, you're going to want to do the manual adjustments because you just have way more control and you get way better of an effect most of the time manually adjusting it. But I'll still show you auto levels. Watch. See, it didn't do much. Depending on the picture, you might not even notice it. Auto contrast. See, I don't even... I noticed a slight difference there. Auto color. Yeah. So those are some of the auto functions. But these other functions in here for adjustments, these manuals, these are the ones we want. So let's undo, if you remember, let's go to our history and go back to um, the first one that we didn't modify. See, it did make some difference, but not much in my book, not the one, the adjustments I really wanted. So, let's first start with levels and highlights. So let's go to image, adjustments, levels. Now, do you remember we adjusted the how dark a picture was before? Basically, you have um, three sections here that you can adjust. So if you move this, you want to make sure the preview is checked and maybe move this out of the way so you get a better view. See, by moving that there, it gets lighter. Moving this to the right, darker. See, now you notice the, how the effect is changing. I'm kind of liking that because it's darkening things up and making it look more like twilight or something. I'm, see, I really like that. And then the output level, we can just make it darker or lighter. I'm going to leave it like that. Let's try moving this down a little bit. I don't like it. So let's leave it over there to the right from light to dark. All right. So once you get it how you want, hit OK. And now let's go to contrast. Brightness and contrast. So we can have the brightness up if we wanted. Contrast up. Contrast up gives a nice effect. Basically, you get it how you want it and then you hit enter. So there's a little bit on brightness and contrast as well as levels.